ready. All right, so here we go, round one. This is his UFC debut, so finally getting to the big show. He strung together a long winning streak on the regional circuit. A lot of people thought maybe this UFC debut would have come last year. Let bygones be bygones. Here it is. We'll see what he can do. And you learn a lot about these prospects when they're put in positions that they're not normally put in uh, inside of the octagon. You can do them in practice, but there's a big difference when you experience it inside the UFC. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. All right, here we go. Our first round is underway, and you know at some point he's going to try to get this fight to the canvas. Any number of different submissions in his arsenal. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger. Does he pull guard? Does he pretend that he got knocked down? We saw Verdum do it right. to Fedor. Act like he got knocked down. Fedor jumps in his guard, gets a submission. This man has that same ability. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Good oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, uh -huh. stop it. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Throws the right hand there. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate and watch the ability to land from anywhere. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, so suddenly he'll change his stance. He's throwing every part of himself into these oh. big leg kicks. He's got him hurt here. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Butcher! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.